While sitting at my desk over the last few weeks, it's been fascinating watching the social behaviour of the southern masked male and female weaver birds during what is now the breeding season. I'm not sure what other species of male has to work so hard in order to attract and keep a female in order to procreate. Let me enlighten you for those who don't know. First, the male during the breeding season improves his look so he can be noticed. He develops a very bright yellow head and underparts, a black throat and beak, red eyes and a yellowish green back. It's not difficult to draw a parallel with the young testosterone filled human males showing off for the same reasons. In many ways, our artificially constructed lifestyle has not yet managed to sever our evolutionary roots. On the other hand, the female does nothing to try and entice him. She's much duller with a pinkish brown bill, reddy brown eyes and is dull greenish yellow, streaked darker on the upper back. Weaver birds generally feed on seeds, nectar and tree sap, which they draw out using their very sharp beaks. There are other parallels. It may be the male's clothes and song which initially get the female's attention, but it is his material assets which determine whether she finally shacks up with him. However, we shouldn't feel too sorry for this particular species of male weaver bird, as he's not just happy with one mate. Hmm, sound familiar? They're polygamous and have several females in one breeding season, between September and January, and typically they can build up to 25 nests per season. Since the ultimate selection of a mate is up to the female, the male weaver birds leave nothing to chance in their construction of a delicately woven nest. It is one of the small natural wonders of the world and amazing to watch. He uses his strong conical beak to cut blades of grass or palm leaf. Using his feet and beak, he weaves a sturdy hoop, continuing to thread, knot and plait until his construction resembles a neat walled dome with a large entrance tunnel. The whole process takes anything from two to five days, and the more experienced the weaver, the more intricate and attractive the results. He may add a little finesse by including flowers, the way to a woman's heart. When he is practically finished, he advertises the residents and himself to potential mates with impressive, vigorous displays by fluttering his wings what I can only imagine is supposed to be a love song. It's a high-pitched shrill. A female will then inspect the nest and finding one to her satisfaction, she will begin to line the interiors as an indication of her approval. The female weaver bird I've been watching is obviously very picky and has selected the freshest, finest abode. The poor little guy has built seven nests in three weeks. Another fascinating fact if a nest is continually rejected by a female passerby, the male will destroy it and begin again. The male obviously doesn't like rejection, and what took him maybe two days to build, he destroys in 15 minutes. He's also very vocal about it. It's been exhausting just watching him. You do feel a bit sorry for him after all his hard work. So now the fun begins and mating follows. Well, actually it doesn't last very long. They rub their swollen cloacas against each other. The male sperm, which has been stored in his cloaca, is deposited into the female's cloaca, where it travels up the chamber and eventually fertilizes an egg. The female will now take up her residence and she will lay anything between two to four eggs. She incubates them until the chicks hatch after 12 to 14 days. She will then feed them until they fledge, which is normally after 16 to 20 days. An interesting fact about the southern masked female weaver bird is she lays eggs of various colours. This helps to evade parasitization by cuckoos because the cuckoo has no way of knowing what kind of eggs are inside the weaver's nest until it has entered the nest to attempt to lay one itself. Eggs of the wrong coloration are rejected by the nest's owners. However, the story is not over. The male hangs around and in between building other nests for a potential new mate, he goes back to his first one and does some maintenance on the nest, as well as continuing to construct a long tunnel. He knows his responsibilities. As the days go by, the grass dome dries out, so he continues to repair with fresh grass. It's like thatched roofs being redone. 
He also brings small grass blades for keeping soft inside. It's fascinating watching the interaction between the female and the male. She disappears for a while, probably to find food, during which time he comes back, waits and looks around to make sure she isn't about, and then flies to the nest to do some work. But as soon as he sees her, he's off like a shot. The odd time when he doesn't get away fast enough, or he goes there not knowing she's inside, some serious altercation goes on with very loud and harsh chatter. However, he doesn't shirk his responsibilities and continues to come back. He often works on the outside of the nest while she's still inside. Interestingly enough, I've watched the male working on another nest nearby, and she flies towards him, chirping away and frightens him off. I can only imagine she is jealous. It is now nearly a month since I started my journey with these beautiful little birds. I eagerly await the birth of the chicks. Hopefully, I'll be lucky enough to see them fly away. Right now, as I look out my window, the male is strutting his stuff, looking for another lucky lady. Shame, he looks a bit forlorn to me.